More news around the Ozarks tonight. Residents and community leaders came together today at Branson City Hall. Yeah, they gathered for an in-depth look at the housing market and conditions in Taney County. Color 10's Crystal Blair was at that meeting. She joins us live with the details from Branson tonight. Crystal? Well, David and Heather, today's meeting at City Hall was all a part of the Branson Chamber of Commerce's 5 and 5 initiative. We first told you about this last year. And this afternoon, the public had the opportunity to come to City Hall, sit around community leaders, and hear a breakdown of the housing issues that Taney County is facing. Taney County Partnership provided the study. We needed a, a professional, third-party, objective study done to mitigate some of the opinions and beliefs and perceptions of what the market has to offer. Jonas Argis, executive director of Taney County Partnership, says the idea for this study was prompted when a look at inventory revealed they didn't have enough adequate housing for the J-1 Puerto Rican workers. I think we found 17 apartments and we were like, this is, this is, this is going to be a problem. What do we begin to do with all of this? And Amy Haas with RDG Planning and Design, the company hired to conduct the study, says creating adequate workforce housing presents its own challenges. We also see just this growing demand for additional workforce housing and then the cost of infrastructure to develop that housing and where it is and isn't sometimes affordable to do that infrastructure. Other issues, meeting the housing needs of families, affordable quality rentals and not enough options for seniors. And the study shows the public is willing to pitch in to help where they can. About 75% or over 75% were in support of public support, to public dollars being used to remove dilapidated structures. And now that this housing study of Taney County is complete, there are plans in the works to tackle each one of these issues head on. We're going to examine the, um, the recommendations of how to address and maybe work on some of these things and, and take those to, you know, community groups and different stakeholder groups. Now, Argus also said that he was surprised himself to find in the study that there are people actually living in housing when they can afford to live in housing that costs more money, but they can't find adequate options that cost less or more. Reporting live in Branson, Crystal Blair, Ozarks First. All right, Crystal Blair, thanks. And coming up in sports.